do not take kindly to betrayal, Perrin. You've made a powerful enemy today. So have you. Have I now? Your hubris is quite entertaining. Don't come back. <laughs> Nova, the Taldarim are warping out, but the damage is done. Now it will be even harder to convince the people that aliens are not a threat. That's why the Defenders of Man attacked the Protoss in the first place. Davis will go to any length to gain public support, no matter how many innocent lives it costs. Those were my father's tactics. Davis will answer for this Nova. Track her down and bring her in to stand trial for her crimes. Bring her in? We've tried that. It didn't work. There's only one way to stop her. No. I have publicly declared that Davis is to stand trial in a court of law. Bring her back alive, Nova. Yes, Emperor. <sighs> Nova, our orders are quite clear. hours since we lost contact with the ship that Davis was on. But here's a distress call from the Cerro shipyards. A Dominion vessel is firing on the rest of the fleet. It's her. Get us there quickly. shipyard is a strategic point for the Dominion. Gorgon battlecruisers are repaired here after taking damage in combat. The shipyard's coordinates are classified, but Davis is aware of them, and the top-ranking defenders still support her. But what is she planning on doing? It looks like she left her ship to activate the Xanthos. It's an experimental war machine with an array of heavy assault weapons. She's going to use it to finish off the fleet. Valerian can't hold on to the Dominion without these ships. How can I take it down? The Xanthos features prototype armor plating that will repel direct attacks. But if you target its weapons individually, you can bring them offline and force her retreat. The Xanthos will be vulnerable to attack while it's repairing. They'll likely retreat to a secure area during the process. Breaking through their fortifications and striking then is your best chance to destroy it, Nova. Of course. It always comes down to me. Alrighty, so that is going to be the final mission of the Nova Covertops. I don't really know how the story will end, to be completely honest with you. It seems like there's still, at the very least as far as like the Alarak storyline goes, right? There's still a lot of the story that is left to be told. But we are, of course, going to be playing on the Brutal Difficulty, and apparently our objective right here is to destroy the Xanthos, and with that, uh, General Davis herself as well. At the very least, I think if you manage to do so, we're probably also going to be able to get rid of General uh, Davis, and therefore the Defenders of Man, once and for all. But anyway, before jumping into it, let's have a quick look at the new equipment, as well as the unit technology. So what do we have? Obviously, I did manage to complete the bonus objective in the Dark Skies mission, the previous one. Definitely a very tricky one. I'm hoping that this one is going to be even more difficult. That would be awesome. I've got all day. I've got all day. It's currently noon. I've got about six hours. I would love it. If, well, six hours would be a long time. But anyway, let's have a quick look. We got a new gadget known as the Ionic Force Field. Provides Nova with a shield that reduces incoming damage to a maximum of 10 until 500 total damage is absorbed. Shield lasts for 10 seconds. Uh, I never really had any issues with Nova dying other than when I left her sort of out on her own. Uh, which I guess happens every now and then. It kind of depends on what the mission is like though. If she's going to be, you know, doing a lot of small army type of combat type of groups and she's going to have to lead the charge. Uh, then this may very well be super powerful. Very but I, well. think I, um, I think I prefer the Stim Infusion or maybe even a Pulse Grenade. 
over the uh, the new gadget, the Ionic Force Field right there. So I'm going to be running with the Stim Infusion. I am going to keep on running with the Plasma Rifle. It's a little bit too good. Um, and with that, we'll also keep up with the tech. I could go with the... No, you know what? We'll go with the Apollo Infantry Suit. A little bit stronger, a little bit more well-rounded. Just not really that cloaked, I suppose. It's, you know, you can cloak for a little bit, but it's not permanently cloaked. Like, for example, the Tactical Stealth Suit. Um, and the Indoctrination Visor allows Nova to take control of target enemy units. I do like that one a lot if we once again would have like a solo mission where she's going to be the hero of the story. Not entirely sure if that's going to be the case in this particular one, so I think we'll um, I think we'll just run with the range find the Oculus. This is more of like a I'm gonna macro and try and build a lot of stuff type of setup right here because this is basically just me being able to attack move with Nova without really pressing too many buttons. She's going to be very sustainable as it is. Um, the one thing, though, that could actually change this out is if the Ionic Force build would be on autocast. So, uh, right now, all of these abilities need to be activated before I can use them. Uh, the difference would be if I, you know, would be able to use the Ionic Force build on autocast. But I think this will be fine for now. Uh, and then we also got the unit technology. Don't think we're going to make any changes here. Spent a whole lot of time uh, yesterday in the previous mission. I'm trying to set these up. I actually really, really liked it. Um, and I guess I could set up cloaking on Reapers. Not that I'm going to plan on making Reapers, but... I mean, uh, if I can get them free cloaking, that's alright. Um, and with that, we'll watch the news and launch the mission. After a grueling battle, the Dominion military has defeated the Protoss invasion fleet on Bardona. Eyewitnesses claim that many of the Defenders of Man fought alongside the Dominion indicating that their loyalty may have returned to the Emperor. However, General Davis has escaped custody and Dominion officials are offering a reward for any information on her whereabouts. Okay. The Xanthos is currently located here, Nova. Admiral Horner has positioned his forces around the docked battlecruisers. Also, I thought it would be useful to listen in on the Defender's communications again. Prepare to move out! We will die for Arcturus before we serve his murderer. Mm, Alright, so don't let the Gorgons be destroyed. Five are going to be remaining. I guess that's alright for us. Question is, what kind of composition are we going to focus on? I'm kind of leaning towards a Marine Marauder type of setup. It works really well. I Actually, let's go, let's go Marine Marauder with maybe a couple of Banshees. We can try and see if we can make that work. Uh, relatively... General, it appears we have company. It's the ghost who escaped. Of course it is. We'll handle her. It seems like a relatively easy and straight up composition to work with. Don't know if I'm gonna have any... Oh yeah, no, I will have an expansion. I was gonna say, I don't see an expansion just yet. In before I open my eyes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm pretty oblivious to not spotting things that are out in the open for some reason. Oh, hey. Let's look at that. Gonna have to deal with those. Uh, we'll also produce a lot of... We could go... Should I go Liberator? I may actually want to go Liberator instead of... Um, instead of Banshees. I think Banshees would be good too, though. It's hard to say. You know what? We'll go Banshees. We'll focus on the army that's easy to control. Usually that is the easier choice, but also the more powerful one. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna start producing... Marine Marauder here at a time, or four Marines and Marauders at a time. We'll pick up any resources that are left scattered out on the map. Um, and I'll make sure to put up a couple of these mines too. Out to strike a Gorgon shortly. Oh man, they're actually going to be pushing all the way from here as well. Come on now. Come on, don't kill my stuff please. I'd appreciate it if you guys could stop killing my stuff. Actually, they've got a lot of units here. Wow. Woo. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. That was a lot of damage it just took, though. Flamethrower and an armor-piercing railgun. Wait, a flamethrower and an armor-piercing railgun? Are you kidding me? Alrighty, fine then. I guess I'll just try and simply do as much damage here as possible. If I would have been, if I would have moved the siege tanks over, though, I would have been in a really easy spot to take this engagement. I just didn't realize it. All right, apparently we need to move onwards. Wow, look at that thing, though. We're trying to do, um, 
you know, with the defenses here first. I think, I, I didn't realize that Exantos would move over this quickly. So we'll try and deal damage to this first real gun here. And then we're gonna be alright, I hope. I mean, my units will end up dying here, which I guess would be annoying, but... Alright, 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 let me back up, because I had no idea that that fight would be that aggressive. Attempt number two. The Xanthos is currently <laughs> located here, Nova. Admiral Horner has positioned his forces around the docked battlecruisers. Also, I thought it would be useful to listen in on the defenders' communications again. Prepare to move out. We will die for Arcturus before we serve his murderer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, no particular reason for me to rush this one. Just gonna simply defend this first little bit of aggression here, and then move down after the, you know, second fight happens at this ramp. Because that, that, that part that part sort of threw me off, I suppose, and I didn't really realize that it would be that much, General, you know, that many units. We have company. It's the ghost who escaped. Of course it is. We'll handle her. Okay. So I do want to make sure that I grab myself the, um, the expansion. Still reasonably early. No particular reason not to. And we already know sort of where that fight is going to be happening from, right? Which I guess is a nice little advantage for us. Alright. That should, that should greatly, greatly make this... <laughs> that would make it much easier. Yep, that was way easier than the first time around as well. Next up, we'll set up our defenses over here. Siege tanks. Pretty powerful units, not gonna lie. Um, I do want to make sure that I get my economy out, though. I do want to make sure that I get the expansion here next. So hold on, let me make it right now. Obviously, knowing where they're going to be attacking from is a little bit cheeky, right? Because it makes the fights way easier. But, I mean, that's the advantage, I suppose, of playing the campaign. I'm a little disappointed, though, that this is going to be the final mission. I've been genuinely enjoying these missions. It's so much fun, but... I'm hoping that they're going to be following it up with more stuff. Well done. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So now we move. Now we move. Be bringing the tanks with me as well, by the way. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. Its weapons array is powering a flamethrower and an armor-piercing railgun. Still trying to make sure that I get that, you know, big economy out as well. So, I have not really made any units here. I don't have the bare basics and the bare minimum. I should probably take out the flamethrower first, but... That thing is really strong, though. Wow, that thing is really strong. I just lost all my units once again. I wish I could micro against it, but there's really no micro here involved at all. Hmm. Yeah, I think we may have to change up the army composition that we're going for, because this flamethrower does far too much damage for me to nuke it down quickly. Although, actually, it's still actually alive, though. I mean, as long as we don't lose the objective, it's fine, right? I could have actually been fighting here for a little while already as well. I lost my entire army, but as long as, as, long as we don't lose the match... I was already thinking about giving up right here and retrying again. Oh, all right. So maybe we should have waited. Oh, maybe I should have waited a little while. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me restart once again. I know what to do now. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until the thing is fighting right over here. Then we move. It sounds really obvious, but it turns out these bunkers actually help out a lot in this regard. Um, you are really right over there. Okay, here we go. So, look at that. Right now, it is target firing down these other Terran Dominion things. And we don't really care about those. No, we, can, we do. We're, we're literally here to protect them, right? But we should have used them for tanking here in the first place. Alright, so here we go. We're not losing any of our army, and we're also not missing the objective. Which is great. 
will return with greater firepower. Ah, that's it. The Xanthos is vulnerable now, Nova, but you'll have to fight your way to it. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to fight it right now. I mean, we can try. We can try and slowly move our way out on the field. I don't think we're going to be having quite enough firepower right now to begin with, though. Alrighty, alrighty, this is this is good though. Hold on, before moving up that ramp, make sure that I'm safe for right here. Alright, let me move up the ramp. Siege tanks are pretty good. Nova, this is Hyperion Actual. We're readying an assault on the Defender's forces guarding the Xanthos. Sounds like a party. I'll bring some reinforcements. I mean, I'm trying to. Oh, it's gonna be moving from that angle? Alright, I guess I'm taking the short route. Did lose a couple of my units there, but nothing too insane. Still building up the economy, though. Still building up the eco. Get some more production out as well. And I guess we're gonna be just fine here in a little bit. I just don't know if I'm taking the correct route. Alrighty. Um, yep, alright. So, so far, so good. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a second gas here as well, so I can start double producing my upgrades here. And I guess we'll just power our way. <laughs> oh, I don't know though, I don't know. Maybe I'm taking this a little too aggressively. The Hyperion is already falling. Heading back for now. You know what? You know what? I think I should go ahead and push with the Hyperion instead. We're not actually gonna attack up this ramp this time around. I'm just simply gonna take it a little easier than that. Look at that, I accidentally made a Reaper apparently. Didn't mean to do so, but hey, we're alright. Nova, this is Hyperion Actual. We're readying an assault on the Defender's forces right, guarding the Xanthos. Sounds like a party. I'll bring some reinforcements. There we go. So, I didn't actually realize that we were getting some support to push with. I guess that does make it easier, huh? Alright, so here's the Hyperion now. I do have my nuke available as well. Probably go ahead and use that. Don't nuke the Hyperion though, Loco. Well, we're good. We're good. We're good. And this is gonna make the pushing significantly easier, right? Here we go. That gun is so powerful. Now, I don't want to lose my army though. The Hyperion, I guess, can tank a lot of the damage. We don't need to go too aggressive. I actually already lost a lot of my stuff here. Okay. Let me start saturating that base instead, and we'll get plus two attack going, as well as another gas. Yeah, that nuke was good, though. That nuke was a properly timed one. If you can see, we're doing a lot more clearing up right now. It's repairing currently, though, so it's gonna start attacking here real soon again. Okay, producing significantly more units now than I was previously, which is going to be real helpful. We'll get a couple of these things as well. And immediately upgrade the attack. Ooh. I didn't realize that we're going to attack. That's all we can take. Heading back for now. So where's the next push going to be? Where's the next attack going to be? I don't know where the next attack is going to be. It's going to be active. This is navigating right. the Xanthos to a Dominion Gorgon. They've activated a new bay capable of deploying air superiority fighters. There we go. These siege tanks that I got initially, though, are still pretty powerful. Once again, we're going to have to make sure that we use... The defenses, I suppose, that are already in place to defend this. Alright, so let me nuke down the flamethrower first. Oh man, he still does a lot of damage here, though. These things are so powerful. Maybe I pushed a little too aggressive with the initial forces. You know, when the... Uh... Oh man. I, I don't even know if I can kill this, to be honest with you. Maybe I pushed a little bit too aggressively with the better cruiser just now. I mean, we're going to eventually be able to kill this, I think, right? Which is fine. Actually, these Benjis are doing a lot of work. Or these, uh, these Benjis, not, sorry, the, uh... 
What are the Colts? The Reapers. The Reapers are doing pretty good work. Alright, let me just target it down right now. Alright, alright. Getting a lot more production now. Getting a lot more production now. It's gonna be necessary. Come on. That's enough. We need repairs. We're gonna have to max out. We're gonna have to max out real quick. I got a lot of leftover minerals here. Which is usually not that great. There we go. Drop a bunch of supply. And I'm gonna be able to start making a lot of stuff. Here we go. Alright. So it could have been better. Could have been better. But I think we'll be okay. I'm adding on a lot of Reapers here, actually. I'm not uh, I'm not uh, opposed to the idea. I thought it would be a really bad idea, but we'll just go full on. Full on Marine Marauder Reaper type of army here. I'm leading another charge against the Xanthos. Okay. You're welcome to join in, Nova. I'm gonna start producing a lot of things here very shortly. As you can see, I still got a lot of resources. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna be able to start producing a lot of things. Add on. Complete. Add I wonder on. if this army composition is anything good though. I'm a, I'm a little confused on whether or not it is. Oh! Ha! That nuke value though! We'll get plus three plus three here as well. As soon as we can. And uh, this is gonna be a big push. I just need to make sure that I don't sacrifice my army like I did with the previous push. Just because I ended up losing a little too much there and the next Santos move out was just a little bit on the tricky end. Yeah, we, so we do need to push with this just so we can actually clear the way towards the next objective. Because otherwise, we just don't have enough. Um, I'm a little worried for the next push as well. It's undoubtedly gonna come. Your arsenal operation, General. Good. You are authorized to strike the enemy. They're pushing us back! Okay. Now we're gonna back up. I have no intention of getting in there. The Hyperion needs time to recover from that. Yep. We're leaving for a bit, Nova. We're not gonna push into that. That was a little too much stuff. Um... We need to assault another Gorgon soon. That ghost will use any delay to her advantage. Of course. Of course I will. So we're going full marine. I'll add on some marauders as well, just for good measure. They're a good comp. They're a good unit too. Oh no. Where's the nuclear launch? I I heard nuclear launch detected. Execute a strike now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. The Xanthos is getting into position warning. <gasps> right there it was. Don't think I lost too much to that. I was looking for a little red dot, but it's so hard to spot sometimes. You guys probably saw it though. I know I will look at the comments of this video and people are like, Oh my god, I can't believe you didn't see that! Guys, it's really difficult to see the dots sometimes. <laughs> you guys are oftentimes right though. I miss the most obvious things. Man, he's got four, he's got four different attacks now. Alright, we're nuking down that flamethrower. Oh no. I heard a nuclear launch detected once again, but I don't know where. <gasps> Ooh, there was a lot of stuff I lost. Are you guys kidding me? There's like continuous nukes happening inside of my base. And I lost a lot of things. There's a ghost here. Oh, that's why the nuclear launch were getting it. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Maybe I lost too much now again though. I mean, I've said that a couple of times already. Can't really lose this... Uh, this many forces, I don't think. Now the thing is, we are getting upgrades, and we are gonna max out real quickly. But Our weapon systems are failing. that nuke! I thought it was just a single nuke that came with the army that pushed into my main, but turns out that is not the case. It's okay. We lost a lot of our army supply, but we still got a lot of mining happening as well. Although these resources are running rather low already, so <sighs> it's hard to say. Whether or not I should consider just going back to where I was just at. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to reload for just a second. Execute a 
right now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. Quick, 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 quick. Is getting into position now where's that nuke? Where's that where's that ghost? Oh, I killed it already? Good, good, good. We need to run. We need to run. Straight to the objective. Ignore this. Ignore this, gentlemen. We need to fight the Xanthos. Ooh, there it is. We need to, like, distract it. I'm actually kind of late to this party as it is. Alright. We'll do knock down the uh, flamethrower here first. I think that's a missile battery right there at the end. Man. Alright, alright. It's gonna fall here eventually. That's it. Turn back. Our weapon systems are failing. Uh, you guys, you should probably go ahead and defend there for a little bit. I wonder if, if like this army composition is any good though. I probably should go more Marauder heavy, come to think of it, just because it's it's an army based around, an, you know, we need to fight, we need to fight something armored, right? So it's probably a good idea to add those on as well. I'll, I'll start adding on a lot. It's just that they're also more supply heavy, so it's kind of hard to, to say whether or not it's going to be a good thing. Because normally the damage output of Marines and Marauders is relatively similar. We're setting a course for the Xanthos, Nova. Alright. Hope to see you there. Alright, alright, let's go, Horner. Let's go. Complete. Don't want to overextend here, though. Complete. Maybe I should save my nuke for the uh, for the thing as well. Maybe I should even get a second Ghost Academy to do additional nukes. Okay. Not a bad idea, to be honest. Let me get another one. I don't think I need more than, say, three or so, though. Okay. Really? People say that? I'm getting a lot of marauders now though, in this army. That's really good. We're getting some really good nuke value throughout all of these missions. Adding on more is not a bad idea. Okay. The thing is, like, my bases are gonna start mining out real soon. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna back up. That siege tank on the high ground is doing too much damage. We need to patch up our ship. Alrighty, let me save. Execute a strike now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. Okay. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. There we go. And I'm moving straight up. Moving straight up. So far, so good. 160-ish supply. It's gonna be... Actually, I don't have plus 3 armor just yet. Oh, it's getting finished up right now. Alright, so here's the Gorgon. We need to wait just a second. And we'll try and take out the missile battery first. Okay, and then the flamethrower. And then the rest. Whatever we can hit. There we go. Perfect. Taking too much damage. Fall back. Alright, alright. All right, this is looking real good now. This is looking real good. We get some more supply drops on those. And that's gonna be me practically maxed out. I can start pushing right now towards the next objective. I think we're just gonna wait though for the... I need to stim to like heal up my forces, which seems really backwards, but... Uh, I think we should wait for the next uh, Hyperion, right? Which should probably be going up right about right now. I think after the next wave, which is gonna come right over here, I think that's when we can Admiral start pushing. Here. Yep. My ship is returning to the front line. So, I'm arming three nukes right now. Not seeing any siege tanks just yet. I'll move a couple of units forward just to sort of like take the hit. I know there's a siege tank up on the high ground though. back up. We'll wait for the Hyperion. Oh no. Nuclear launch detected. Where? Where? 
I don't know. I hope it's not here. Okay. We did lose a couple of our units, but nothing too terrifying. More and more nukes, though, everywhere. Got her. Still trying to max out. Don't see it. Don't see it. Oh no, it's right there! 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 Take this expo. Not too many units here, could be honest. We have to retreat. Okay. We'll head back. I think this is going to be the next objective. I scanned a little too aggressively. We cannot wait any longer. Oh no! Launch another offensive. Davis is navigating the Xandos to a Dominion Gorgon. Where's the nuke now, though? I'm looking for a tiny red dolt. He's gonna be right over there as well. Look how big that thing is! Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, my forces! Everything got murdered! I'm gonna have to remake as much stuff here as I can. For now. The Xanthos must be repaired. Oh no. Do you think that was worth it? I mean, my bases are starting to run low on resources. I guess we'll bring some SCVs with this fight now. We were looking really good there. We were looking really good until I took that massive hit. And it's so hard to dodge because I, I tried stutter stepping forward, right? But I accidentally attack move on the massive machine. Not a whole lot we could change about that. Alright. Where is the battle cruiser gonna be though? You guys come with me as well. Hyperion inbound. We're ready to see some more action. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Trying to back up here. Oh, come on. Nova will come back soon enough, though. Trying to make as many units here as I can, but we're really running low on resources. We can start expanding here if we need to. Like, if you absolutely need to, we could. Fly a base over. I mean, my main base is about to start running low. You know what? We're gonna fly it over, right up here. No particular reason not to. I just have it flying or lying about right now, anyway. I think I need to destroy the Gorgon once more. Like, one more objective. I can't quite push to victory here just yet. Next time, though, I think we can. Oh, maybe not. There's a lot of units still up there. I hope I didn't waste my uh, my chances here, though, when I lost, like, the entirety of my army. Okay. Go we'll back up. Move the all we can take. Go Heading back for now. Go we'll back up. Where's the fight gonna be though? There's definitely gonna be a fight on our base as well, right? There isn't much time. Head to a Gorgon. The Xanthos is getting into position for an attack, Nova. Well then. 
This is gonna be a tricky one, because she's gonna start, like, fighting a lot. They're gonna start hitting these things a lot. Oh man, I hope Nova doesn't die from that. Oh no. Run! No! I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reload. Okay. Once again, I'm backing up here. I wanna fight it out in the open. If I could fight it over here, that would be much easier than that tight choke over there. I'm gonna try and simply just get a massive arc here. Okay. Much better. Uh, we'll get this flame uh, flamethrower next. Fighter bay. Real gun. Perfect. I don't know though, because my army is still tiny. Like maybe I should save to, or I should load up to the one right before this, because I, I just don't have a lot of resources. Got an issue here. Ooh, my base has landed. I didn't even, I didn't even, I honestly didn't think it could. I mean, if you can get the resources going, that would be huge. My SCVs are moving over. We'll send some from this base as well, I suppose. I mean, if they'll let me mine from this, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, we're taking the opposing bases. That is the ultimate bad manners, but... I am assuming here the next push we're is gonna come from this. Oh no. Nova. Hope to see you there. Yeah, yeah, coming in, coming in, coming in. Okay, go, 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 Alright, good. And I'm actually mining again, which is great. Okay, going for the nuke. Going for the several nukes. All right, we got their nuker, which is good. And we're gonna start pushing onwards. And there's the, there's the actual, uh, there's the actual machine. Get him, Nova. Okay. Oh no. I did lose a lot of my army here. Oh, come on, no way. We're gonna have to back up, we're gonna have to back up, we're gonna have to back up. We're gonna have to back up for just a little bit. I got a lot of income once again, we'll, we'll kill it next wave. I wonder... I, I think, I think I could have done, I think I could have killed her right there, to be honest. I think I could have killed her right there, but that's eh, fine. We'll get one more wave going. As long as we don't lose a whole lot and we can engage the Xanthos out in the open, we're gonna be in a great, great position. I think it's actually gonna be over here. I think it's gonna be over here. I oh, know it's over here. Execute right. a strike now. Valerian has no right to command. We're gonna engage right up here. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. All right. So once again, setting up that huge arc over here. Really trying to get the maximum, you know, damage output that I can without really risking a whole lot. Okay. I did hear the nuclear launch detected, but... Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can I not attack it? Come on! <laughs> it's flying right above. We could have killed it. I think. Oh, actually, there's some units over here. There's still some mines. Those mines are still going to be doing damage. I'm assuming that the Hyperion is still going to come, right? I haven't heard it yet. All right, let's go. I think we can push for a victory now. I think the Hyperion is going to come from this angle. That would make the most sense. I hope it's still coming. Otherwise, it's going to be real hard. Oh, there it is. We're ready to see some more action. So it's being repaired right now. 
We've almost destroyed everything they have. I just need to be real careful. There is a couple of siege tanks. We got a massive army, though. We'll just wait. We'll just try and be patient here. Maybe I should take the other base, too. Take this one. Okay. I'll give you some vision, Hyperion. I don't have my nukes ready just yet. Oh no, look here, launch once again. Oh, here we go. Exposed weakness. Can I attack it? Oh, that's a lot of HP, though. Hope I'm not accidentally kidding Nova. No, you fought your way here. You're a good soldier, Nova. But so am I. Nova, the Xanthos is transforming. This combat mode was classified. Wait, what? Even from me. Did I not win? I don't know what you'll be facing. Someone get swan. We need to patch up our ship. Are you kidding me? <gasps> My base is gone. Are you kidding me? Oh no, there's still so many units coming in. I needed to be maxed out. I needed to be maxed out before pushing up here. I just didn't I just simply didn't have enough all right this is probably the ideal scenario I am maxed out I went back I replayed like the last 10 minutes or so I went back and I maxed out I got a lot of army we're pushing up the ramp I got the base taken and I was gonna simply try and slowly but surely move up here we gotta make sure that we destroy all of the stuff that is up this ramp before doing anything else because otherwise it's just too much so we gotta be real careful with when we engage and what we're gonna be engaging as well just take my time no need to rush we got a lot of nukes here, so we may as well use them. Well, with a lot, I mean three. That's still pretty good, though. And we just simply gotta try our very best and push. I think I wanna take out everything that's up here. Now, I'm gonna be losing my base, by the way, at home. That's fine. But I think I should go ahead and take everything that's up here out and then start engaging the Xanthos. I mean, my base is gonna fall, that's fine. Who cares about bases at this point? Okay. Well, we did lose a bunch of our army, but we got a lot more than last time. Okay, let me save real quick, and then we'll go. We gotta nuke it down, though. We gotta nuke it down right now. There we go. So you fought your way here. My main home is gone, but... But so am I. Nova, the Xanthos is transforming. This combat mode was classified, even from me. I don't care about this. I'm not gonna be able to get more units out anyway. Got a lot of stuff here. I still need more forces. If we fail today, we lose the dominion. All personnel to my position. We have risked everything for this. Take it. Take it. We got it. It is done. Preliminary scans show some injuries among the crew, but Davis is still alive. However, the communications channels are chaotic. She hasn't spoken since the crash. 
Just send me her last known coordinates. I'll find her myself. Of course. Whoa! I've been playing for like an hour and a half, and I thought that was the mission done. Just ahead, she seems to be alone. Good. November Terra. I knew your family when you were a child. We were all part of the same circles back then. The same side. The past doesn't matter. I have made mistakes, and I will pay for them. I know why you're coming here. You think you're going to do the right thing. What you don't realize is that if you do this, you are no better than I am. Think on that before you act. I will say no more. Alright, alright, alright. So... Are you... Do I... Do I just... Okay. Go to hell. Nova, what have you done? So wait, do you think I did have the option to like... Keep her alive or at the very least make the decision? I didn't even try. I just used my ability and, and, and checked whether or not she could take damage. Turns out she can. deliberately disobeyed the Emperor's orders. But then I knew him before he was the Emperor, when he was only the Crown Prince, and his primary interest was artifacts. I joined his Mobius Foundation dreaming that I'd invent things to astound the Sector. Instead, I destroyed my career. This is the only life I have left. The same as you. Why are you telling me this? The crew is loyal to you alone, Nova. We will go wherever you lead. The Dominion's always going to have problems. They'll need us to solve them our own way. And finally, an update on the attempted coup by the Defenders of Man. Tensions have subsided in the Dominion after Emperor Valerian regained control of the government and released all of the related evidence in a public report. Our polls show that most people feel the Emperor was justified in using lethal force against General Davis, given the danger she presented. What should we do about Nova? Hmm. Let her go. For now. To all Terran, Protoss and Zerg, it has been quite the right. StarCraft 2 has been a labor of love for us, driven by loyalty and support from our players. Thank you for pushing us to new heights and for joining us on this unforgettable journey. GLHF and we'll see you on the battlefield. The StarCraft 2 development team. Man, these were some really, really, really cool missions. I am very happy that... You know, I've been happy, I've, I've been able to play those, right? And I've, I've actually been so happy with the amount of views that these series are getting as well. I know that, you know, the channel has always been mostly about StarCraft 2. And while I focus on a lot of other games nowadays as well, um, you know, like, the, 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 the amount of views for StarCraft are still off the charts. Like, they're still 
you know, better than any of the other videos that I upload. So, thank you very much for joining me as well. I've had an absolute blast. Thank you very much for uh, watching all of the content. And as soon as, you know, any kind of co-op mission or, or campaign mission or new stuff is available for StarCraft 2, I'm going to be covering it on this YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit me up with that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description. Other than that, I want to thank you all very much so for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one.